In this video, I wanted to bring you guys a really quick haul as well as show you guys some of the things I've sold recently on eBay. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is The Common Lad, and if you're new here, I make tons of different videos trying different hustles, selling things on eBay, Instagram theme pages, and also selling things on Shopify. If it sounds like stuff that interests you, please consider subscribing. And with that out of the way, yes, I hid another Value Village. I was trying to get some stuff ready for Q4. I've been listing a ton of stuff down here. In fact, almost all the stuff that you guys have seen in the last couple haul videos has now been listed. So that made me excited because I wanted to go ahead and again look for things that will be good around Christmas time. Maybe some new items, some toys, board games, that sort of stuff. I hit the Value Village the other day and I found just that. So I want to share with you guys exactly what I found. Some of it's a little bit strange, some of it's a little bit out of the normal for me. But I want to share with you guys the stuff that I picked up. Hopefully it will sell. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. Right, so here's a pretty good look at the haul. There's actually a couple more items I think just not on the table right now, but I'll go and show you them in a second. But this is what we got, and I'm pretty happy about it. Um, first of all, I'll start over here because I got a couple really good sealed items. A sealed Monopoly Junior Disney. This was going for about $40. I paid $10. Now I know I paid up a little bit, but again, heading into Q4, this will sell very well, I think. Again, new board games, heading into that. That should be good. I've done well with them before. Another new item, this D-Link uh, USB Bluetooth adapter. Don't know anything about it, but there was one listed for 100 bucks, so I figured I would pick it up. There's a couple solds around $40, $50, not in box, definitely not new. So that will go for some pretty good money, I think. And then we've got Boggle. Maybe a $30 game. I think I paid 5 bucks on it. Brand new sealed. There was only three of them listed at 30 There was a bunch of sold. So I think we'll be able to get that for it again heading into Q4. All right, phones, guys. I tried not to buy too many of these this time. I actually had a cart full, and I only picked out the ones I thought would do best. I bought four of them here. You guys may recall, and I'll show you in a second. I actually just sold another pair of them. But you guys may recall... The shelf of phones. Way over here, I listed these ones just the other day. We've got all of the VTEC still there, and we've got all the Panasonics. They have been selling those, so I'm not too upset yet. Let's just see if we can sell the rest of them first, though, before I buy more. Anyway, so a couple more phones. I also still have a bin of phones right here, basically. Underneath those shirts, there are a whole bunch more phones. So I'm going to go ahead and do another phone listing day and get all of those up. We have a PlayStation 2 remote right here. That should be able to go for some pretty good money. This was a pretty good bundle. I wouldn't usually buy this, but there was an Xbox 360 here. It was 15 bucks, 120 gig hard drive, tested and working in the store. At least it turned on. There's a disc in it as well. Um, yeah, so I got the power cable with it. I actually am going to put this one with it. I bought, oh no, I wasn't. I was going to put this one with it. Power and AV. I actually bought another power cable separately for three or four dollars. I'll sell that separately. Um, get probably 20 bucks on that. But yeah, this will be a pretty good bundle, and I also bought a remote separately for $4.99. Probably looking at about 80 bucks there for the bundle, but hopefully we can uh, make that work. Okay, moving on, we've got a Nikon RD2 camera. These go for about 130 bucks on eBay, although I will not probably be able to test this, so I'll probably end up listing closer to 60, 50, 60 bucks. Something like that, take an offer on it, whatever. Still gonna be good money for the $5.99 that we spent on it. Um, this is exciting. You guys might remember from back in the day, we sold a Bose remote for I think like 60 or 70 bucks out of box. This one looks like it's brand new in box. It's got all the paper here. It's got no signs of use whatsoever. It looks literally brand new. It's got plenty and plenty of pamphlets down there for it. I think we're looking at easily maybe 80 bucks on this. It's looking like it's going for about 60 to 70, but those are all like used online. There's a bunch of like universal ones if you'll make, but not the Bose brand. So be careful if you're ever looking for these because that might trick you into thinking they're worth a little bit less than they are. Always pick up Bose remotes when I see them. You should probably do that as well because these things are always worth some good money. And 999 is why I pay on that worth every cent. Okay, moving on. We've got a, uh, what did you say? The BB-8, right? This is what this is called. The um, the droid. This is sealed in the box. It's not actually sealed, sorry, but it's in the box. Um, and I know it's not sealed because it looks like there might be a little bit of signs of wear on the inside of this unit. But for the price, again, $19.99, I couldn't find the exact comp on this, but I'm sure we'll be able to get minimum 60 bucks, maybe even up to 100 on it. Um, it with the box like this, again, heading into Q4, I think it's going to be worth some good money. Uh, even if it is used, it still has all the packaging and everything. So I'm excited about that one. Paid 20 maybe paid a little bit too much, but I definitely took a risk on that one, and we'll see if it pays off. Okay, this one I'm kind of dumb maybe for buying. Maybe not. They were going for about 60 bucks out of box. So this is the exact model on it. They're like a vintage, uh, maybe not vintage, but they're an old Thermaltake computer, cooler, power supply. I'm not really sure. Um, four ninety nine. Those why I pay on the box. Again, out of box, they were going for about sixty. I actually thought these were new for some reason. I thought this box was sealed when I bought it. So, and then I got here and I was like, wait a second, wasn't that sealed? Maybe not. Um, so I'll I'll open it up, take a look. They're definitely in there. It's very heavy. But um, yeah, I'll I'll take a look at what's in there, see what we're dealing with, and see if we're able to get 
you know, some good money for them. I'm hoping maybe, you know, even just aiming for that $60 mark on that, even less, whatever, untested, 30, 40 bucks for five bucks, we'll make our money back on it. All right, and then this was another really big risky purchase. The RX-7, the super light. This is a hairdresser, or not a hairdresser, a hair dryer. Wow, it's too early in the morning for this. Um, yeah, the RX-7 super light, I paid $20 on it. There it is right there. They put a sticker right on the new hair dryer. Thanks, guys. Um, but yeah, it is, it looks like it's brand new. There might be a little bit of stuff going on there. I'm not sure if that's just kind of like residual from a sticker or something. Yeah, that, that should probably come off. I don't know. Um, anyway, again, got a pretty good deal on it. I think they're going for about um, 70 to $80. I think there were a couple of 60, 70 bucks out of box. This one's in the box. Should be able to get maybe 90, 100 bucks for it if we're lucky. If not, you know, we take 60 bucks for it. I still trope my money on that. I mean, of course, there's fees and whatever. But still, I think we'll do okay on that item right there. That's everything that I picked up. Quick update real quick on what I've been listing. However, we got the Playmobil set finally up. It actually didn't include the minifigures. So I listed for $1.99 and hopefully we'll be able to get somewhere close to that. We have a couple items in here that I listed. Let me just open this guy up right here. We listed uh, this guy right here. This only turned out to be uh, about a $20 item. So I listed for 20. The Bell Fiber Mode that came with this, you guys remember that was that weird bundle from last episode. The Bell Fiber Mode was totally corroded. I listed it for like $4, hoping to just sell it. Maybe somebody will buy it and try to clean it. But I, uh, I mentioned that, of course, in the listing. Yeah, not the best buy. I'm not going to be too happy with that one. This was also not the best buy. Hannah Max, I thought it was worth a little bit more. Some of the comps I was looking at in the store, I guess, weren't the exact same model. This got listed for 20 bucks, paid, I think, four, maybe four or five bucks on that. So we'll still do okay. This was a great buy. This was, I think, $5.99. This is a Fostex mini mixer. The day I listed it, uh, we got maybe, I don't know, a bunch of views on it, a couple watchers, and a couple questions. The questions we're asking with regards to are the channels working, um, you know, are all the lights on? Or is there any sort of, you know, crackling going on? Is there any sort of, oh, I think one of them was even, uh, is it in a smoke-free home or whatever? So I went ahead and I actually, um, I initially didn't test this and I just listed it, but then I figured that's probably a bad idea. So I went ahead, I hooked it up to my rig and everything actually works really well on this unit. I have it up for 70 bucks. We can actually check here in a couple minutes if that offer, I think we just got an offer on it for about 65. That's a little lower than I would have liked. So I'm looking to get about 75. Anyway, we'll check a little later, see if that offer comes through. We've got a couple Wii items here as well. Nothing too special. Uh, I think we listed those at like 10 or 15 a pop and those should be able to sell again going into fourth quarter. And then I kind of already showed you guys the rest. This Panasonic phone right here was a big one that I bought last time. I think I paid $7 on it, something like that. Um, it listed for, I think, $50, $49.99. I'd have to check with uh, Airval on that. By the way, the partner in this business, if you guys don't know, he's making tons of videos about it, and I highly recommend going and checking them out. Link in the description below. But that was listed for, I think, about $50. Bucks. Had to double check that with him. I think this one was about $30, and that one was maybe closer to $20, um, but still some pretty good money, hopefully. Uh, I've never, you know, sold the AT&T phones before. I've sold VTEX. I've sold Panasonic. That's my two sort of primary ones. These ones I haven't touched before. Um, but anyway, I think we have a couple orders in as well, maybe for a phone, and I think there's a couple other things that sold. So let's go ahead and check that out, see if we can pull all those orders, and then we'll get to packaging them up. And speak of the devil, look right there, sold away in payment, there's our Fostex MN15 mixer. I'm guessing that he took the offer on the $75, I believe it was. So that's gonna be another good sale that we can actually, if he pays, print and ship out today. By the way, that item would have sold within about 24 hours of me listing it, so that's pretty sweet. And yeah, we did get our 75 bucks on it. I might have to send him an invoice here, so let me check it out. All right, so let's pull some items, guys. Starting off with the first sale on the uh, new eBay store here. A pair of Panasonic's, uh, the phones. I think those are them right there. Let me pull them out and double check, but I believe those are them. Yep, those are them right there, and we took an offer on them for $44. And then we did just sell, of course, the Fostics, and I was just paid for that as well. So 75 bucks there, I think, plus shipping came out to about 90 but there we go. And that's actually going to the States. So I'm gonna make sure to well make it very well packed. And uh, yeah, I'll write up the customs forms for it and whatnot. Get that all ready to go. Next up, guys, we stole this Harman Kardon remote from the old store. So this is from the 30 Day Challenge store. Um, and this would be this one right here. So that's one of the last sort of items that I gotta get rid of. Obviously, you can see a couple more here that are solicited. Some old phone, a couple of the remotes. But yeah, that one sold for about 30 bucks and it's also going to the United States. And from phones and remotes to expensive items, we go to the cheapest item that I sell, an emoji patch in one of these drawers. And will you look at that? That's actually the last one of those that I have. I think I had like 30 of each. So that one sold out. Oh no, those are different ones. <laughs> What's the rest of the emoji ones? Some of these are still a lot of, but yeah, we did start out with a lot more. There's only one left of that one too. Anyway, $2 there. 
So if you do the math on that, I made about 60 bucks. I didn't make 60 bucks, but I made about 60 bucks in revenue on these emojis. I think I was profiting about a dollar on them. I literally have nothing in them. So I think I have a few cents in each one. So if I'm selling them for about two bucks, usually I sell them for 250. So that means that, you know, really I'm making about a dollar on each one. So we made about 30 bucks on each set. There was probably, you know, a lot of them. There's a couple hundred, at least a few hundred. So yeah, we made okay money on them. I probably won't do anything like that again. But the time to ship them was nothing and it, they were a fun little thing. Here's another interesting one, a caliper ruler. I'm not even sure where I found the idea for this one, but it's in one of these drawers. I'm gonna have to look through them all. See if I can, hey, wait a second, there they are right there. Okay, I was gonna say I'd have to look all through all these to find it, but I found it right there and there's one left. So there we go. Five ninety nine on eBay, you can't beat that. That's the price of a video game right there. And that will go in, you know, letter mail, sell for, or probably ship out for about a buck uh, 90. So there we go. Then of course we sold a lot of a hundred earring backings. You can actually see here, I've sold 15 of them now. I'm not sure if that's completely accurate because I'm pretty sure I sold more, but maybe that was on another listing. Cause I, I don't know, I probably have about 10,000 left, but I think I had, <laughs> I had like 15 or 20,000 when I started, something ridiculous. But anyway, 15 sales uh, on those, on this listing at least. There might have been more from another past listing and maybe they had gotten relisted. Anyway, I got to count out 100 of these. I hate these things, but anyway, five bucks. There we go. All right, now finally we got two sales in the video game store, Final Fantasy game here at first. A lot of you guys might be wondering what I'm doing with the video game store right now because I haven't been doing a lot of listings for it. I've been focused so much on the brand new store because there's just so much more money in it. I'll pull this while we're talking. But uh, basically what I wanna be doing is I wanna start listing the rest of the stuff. First of all, I have probably another, <laughs> this might be exaggerated, but probably another thousand video games. Probably not, probably about 500 more video games that had to still get listed. So I wanna get those all listed and uh, and get those ready before fourth quarter actually is kind of my plan so I can sell them before Christmas. That might be a little bit optimistic because I have so much other stuff going on right now. And it's not just even eBay stuff. It's like, you know, I'm doing a little bit of Shopify stuff as well. I'm doing some Instagram stuff, actually a lot of Instagram stuff. And I'm doing a lot of YouTube stuff like this. So it's a lot of stuff going on. So I got to kind of pick out my priorities, but I would like to sell or at least maybe list another 200, maybe 250 games before fourth quarter comes along. And then I'll probably start buying maybe in January or something, or maybe even in December is usually the best time to buy um, the lots because nobody's really getting them in time for Q4. So I can maybe buy another three lots, bring them in, and even just keep them here till next quarter or next, you know, maybe second quarter and get them listed throughout the year. I don't know, but we'll have them all ready for fourth quarter again. It's kind of my idea. That's what I've been doing the last couple of years, buying like, you know, 500,000 games after or right before Christmas and then uh, holding them to next year and selling them off for way more. Anyway, surprisingly, with the lack of listings, we're still making a lot of sales here. I actually picked up a bunch of games the other day just when I was out at the, um, where was I? I think this was all from the restore. These may have been from uh, Value Village, and then these were all from the restore for a buck a piece. Hit and run for a buck a piece. I know, it's great. So that's the kind of thing. It's like it's been sitting there for probably two weeks, and I got to get them listed. Um, so yeah, I just got to get back into it and start doing them again. They're a little bit more grindy. Than, um, than selling this other stuff as well. At least this is kind of interesting. You get a different item every time. This is like the same thing over and over again for days on end, but you make lots of money in it. So I'm not gonna complain too much. And I'll get back to listing those soon. All right, now that rant's over, we got one more game, X-Men Wolverine's Revenge for $4.99 in V34. So there's a real quick look at everything that's sold and everything that I got pack up and send out this morning. I wanted to quickly interrupt my packing because I wanted to uh, show you guys this box. Actually, I was just starting, but anyway, this fits stuff really well. This is one of the eBay boxes that they gave me. I want to buy a whole bunch of these. I don't know which ones they are, but they're these ones right here. Let's see if it says on them. What size is this? There it is. Eight by six by four. These are a really handy size. I didn't even realize that. So they fit phones. They're going to fit that mixer well. I'm going to use those today and see how they go, but I need to buy some more of those. Okay guys, so it's early in the next day and I actually totally forgot to record the outro of this video. So here I am now. Um, but yeah, we did manage to bring in that big haul from Value Village as well as I shipped out all those items all good. So that's awesome. Also, I managed to place an order for, I think it was 25 or 50 more of those eight by four by six boxes that we just saw in the last clip. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Those will be coming in. I'll be able to use those to ship again, things like phones and things like, you know, little electronic devices, remotes possibly, and things like that. They're great boxes for those. Anyway, I also want to say that I do have another video that's going to be awesome coming out. I believe on Tuesday, it's going to be a massive listing video. We're trying to list basically every single thing that we have in the store getting ready for fourth quarter. I know it's going to be a big time commitment. It's going to take me a lot of effort to get everything up, but I'm going to try to see how much of everything we can do. I believe we can probably get maybe nine 90-95% of what's not listed up on eBay for the month of October so we can start selling it in fourth quarter. That will all be in next week's video though coming out on Tuesday.
And with that all said, guys, I am going to end today's video there. Maybe let me know in the comments down below what you guys are doing with your stores, what kind of stuff you're picking up these days, and what you're managing to sell on eBay. With that all said, though, I am going to end it there. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to go down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys all in the next video. Thank you.